building, y'all. And she got her drink and her hand, baby. I'm going to come on here real quick and say thank you to the people that commented on the video of um daily struggles of a small content creator it wasn't that much people but definitely what you guys commented and stuff like that it actually hit me like in my heart and i was so honestly happy to see some positive comments about you know like keep going and keep posting and stuff like that and it definitely truly made my day all right y'all so i'm about to go and take a nap because i haven't slept at all today i barely recorded but we were basically just running a little bit of errands i just didn't think they were that deep to record because it was like well, you know like we'll just drive up to the bank or go to cbs and stuff and it wasn't that deep so i'm gonna go take a nap just reading right here chapter 11 well not just reading actually i was just looking back at it because i was wondering because here god of course he shows his anger when the people start to complain and then over here he ends up casting um i think miriam i forgot what it was but she had something that they had to like basically kick her out of the camp for or confined outside the camp for seven days and then i think there was something else that ends up happening actually no i think that was pretty much it but I'm wondering what are the necessarily understandings of that, right? Because I know for instance, I realized I had completely no lighting, but I know for instance, like in there, he, you know, was getting upset because these people are complaining about the bread and stuff like that. And I feel like normally like that doesn't really affect me. Like if he's getting angry for that, that's not something like, like, you know, how people try to prove like, oh, God's not slow to anger and stuff like that and then, I, and then they point to like this verse where he gets like real angry um in the old testament and stuff i feel like normally when i hear it, that's not something that affects me but i feel like i know that that's the response people will have so i feel like i always want to be able to have an answer for that for when um because i don't know for some reason it's like I, I i just have like this picture in my head that one day like people are going to question me on it and i want to be able to have the answers ready 
but I'm about to get into a little bit of Bible study here. I got Genesis chapter 17. I feel like, like I said, this is just takes too long for me because I don't know if maybe I read too much notes or maybe it is like meaningful, but it, it just takes too long. So I think what I'm gonna try to do is dedicate an hour of like, like I'm gonna do one chapter over here, dedicate um, one chapter over here, possibly two to try and get it done. Because the thing is, is that I've read way further in here. I'm all the way in numbers, but I'm still taking notes for Genesis and I'm still highlighting for Genesis. I'm in like three different places because I think for my highlights, I only got to like chapter seven. Then for notes, I'm at chapter 16 and then numbers. I'm deep into numbers. And then also two, I'm also now reading Luke for the New Testament. So it's like, I'm all over the place when it comes to this Bible studying. So I feel like um, what I'm probably gonna do is still try to read a chapter a day, depending on if it's in Luke or if it's in Numbers, because you get to see certain things line up and you don't really get to see it unless you are kind of, you know, you are all over the place. I don't have my pen. I don't know where I put my pen at. That's great. I'm gonna be ending this vlog right here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace.